Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to European Rosales Rome. I'm your host, Kilden, and we've now united five out of the six provinces required to form Britannia. But yet we are sadly underpaying tribute again. Uh, those jerks keeping us down. Grr. On top of that, we still need more time to uh, reinforce our army. It is still a little understaffed, to say the least. Uh, it's, uh, it's 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 something, I suppose. But can it beat salt? No. It's oh uh, well, whatever. It'll have to do. Eh, it would be nice to actually get some real bonuses to it, but you know, the ability to build archers and ships is hardly necessary. I'm not even maintaining a navy. Personality matures narcissist. Okay. And here's the thing, I'm really running out of time here. 55 now. Which means once this ends, assuming I survive to the age of 60, um, then I can finally finish ore devices, or sorry, the slurry off and take ore devices. Then I can just simply pay tribute again, but I'll be at peace and controlling all six of the provinces that are required. Thereby, meaning I can form Britannia. Britannian nation. So it really doesn't matter if I'm... like I, I still meet all the conditions if I'm paying tribute. Doesn't matter. But the point is, I get tribal federation. Which, of course, is great. <laughs> eh, well, at least I think I should be able to up my stability a bit soon. I'm hoping. 31. How? Ruler on popularity, of course. Friggin' A. This negative stability is such a huge drain. Oh wow, somebody's launched a civil war in Macedonia. I don't know how well that's going to go for them, but it doesn't look like it went well at all. In fact, it looks like a total failure. Yes. Congratulations, you got two rebels. Good work. Good work. Two, two provinces. That's a, that's a good haul. Alright, well. At least we can... Let's see, at about half a gold a month. Let's see, 20... Let's say 31. Uh, round it off. We're 9 gold away. 18 months, so a year and a half. About a year and a half. We'll finally be able to up our stability. Which is huge. It'll increase my taxation significantly and actually help. Uh, this is this is a little rough, I admit. It's too bad that you know so many of my forts happened to fall so quickly before. Because uh, you know, if only Canty had fallen, they didn't get such ridiculous luck sieging a level two fort. Um, then I would, then uh, you know, I would have been able to pay a lot less in tribute. But oh well, take what you can get, I guess. Like, if I wasn't paying tribute, I still would. I wouldn't even be making a buck a month. Doesn't matter. Here's the thing. I trust my army being good enough that uh, if any revolt raises in Trinovantes, we'll be safe. <laughs> uh, and be able to beat them. Especially because I have uh, the civic idea here. <laughs> Keyword civic idea. Martial ethos. That, of course. A lot. Is that what I lose? If I don't have my ideas set out, I lose 10% research points, perhaps? Maybe? Because that's, that's normally glowing green. Interesting. Maybe that's finally what the, quote, penalty is. Yeah, it is. Huh. There we go. Um, yeah, right. That's good enough reason for me, I suppose, but... Research points are not on the top of my uh, list of things that I give a shit about right now. So, we'll get back to you on that. Uh, in the meantime, we are getting some manpower back, although... It's... Yeah. That way, at least it will reinforce a little bit. The last of the dudes. Good, there you go. Now we have a full manpower reserve of 442 men. It's something. 
It's something. It's not great, but like I said, it's something. Reserve manpower is manpower. And very soon. 31, come on. 31.2. We're closing in. We still have to wait until 14 or 503. Yeah, 503. I was going to say 14 for some reason. Yeah, 503, January 14th. <laughs> so, well, let's see. Since we're pretty much at 500 now, three years. Three years. Good. I'm st I, I say good as he dies because it wasn't me. My survival at this point is paramount. The conquest of Ordevices is the only priority. Everything else is now secondary. Doesn't cost me any money to do that, so... You know, I can try and fight them. Fight them all I can. How well I'll succeed is, you know, a whole nother story. They actually have a stability of zero. Those jerks. Lots of peace going on. Always nice. Um, assassinate. Let's take a look at his court here. Who is his general? Seven, all right. His general's a seven. Not bad. Uh, my general is, I believe, an eight. Yes, he is. And doesn't look like he can get replaced anytime soon. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much, you know. He's, he's the best I can get, except for maybe this dude. Yeah. Let's see. Wedge. Coward. Yeah. It might be better for him, you know, victorious, ambitious... But ruin popularity. I'm I'm about to get overthrown at this rate. <laughs> no, really, I I might very well in fact get overthrown. Ooh, a lot of white pieces. Yeah, you're in peace finally. Oh no, you're not. Ooh, more pieces come in. There we go. Enter still works, apparently. There. I'm fairly certain that is true, but I'm fairly certain I also can't do it while we're... This, I'm paying tribute. Probably can't start demanding tribute from them. Oh well. We're closing in on the ability to raise our stability. It's all important now. All important. Come on. We can offer sacrifice. Poof. Okay, sacrifice to the gods. Like a huge cost increase. But at least we get one. We're up to negative one stability now. That's that's good. That's actually gonna increase our income a fair bit, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> our taxation went up. It's now equal to our trade. Alright, now if we can just stop paying tribute, that would really help. Look, my Senai is revolting, okay. That means we need to kick our army into higher gear. We just have to wait a couple months for them to, uh, you know, actually get up there. That's fine. We can wait it out while they siege. In the end, we're still, you know, making a, at least a decent amount of cash, so... Uh, hopefully I'm thinking by the end of it. It's going to take like another six years, probably a little longer, before we can actually, uh, you know, that uh, water torch. Uh, Alright. December 5th, yeah, we might as well start walking now. <laughs> Freaking hell, it takes forever to move from province to province. 
We need road networks. I don't even think Rome has those yet, though. Road network. Yeah, they do, kinda. In Sicily, anyway. There's parts of it. They're, they are getting road networks, so... It's a start for them. Ooh. Trinovantes is revolting. Well, that's not gonna change anything. Alright, so... We only lost 299 men. Nothing particularly troubling. Or should we still outnumber them? Or at least we did until the first die roll came in. Yeah, your, your front has collapsed. Okay, so their front collapsed, they're given, and our army goes back to slumber. I don't know, actually, I should keep them at about half at the moment, while, so they can reinforce. Once they're done reinforcing, I'll put them back. We need to try and... Alright, so the uh, war down in the Mediterranean is coming to an end. Yeah. That's... That, that's... It's, uh, Definitely coming to an end, that's good. Enough peace already? God damn it. Alright, <laughs> so we have less than two years to count down. And Trinavant has us down to 3% revolt risk. Good. <sighs> it's rough looking at this. My son, I. Why are you revolting as much as Okay, now why is they re why are they revolting? Separatism is eight, yeah. Separatism is three. I see, okay, so it's just separatism. Which is luckily slowly wearing off. Alright. Ooh. If for a second there I thought that was a civil war in our land. I was worried. Real worried. Alright, so I should be able to cut out the maintenance now. Yeah, okay. They can go back to sleep. Until we need to awaken them in a few years. Ooh, naval technology. Construction, good. Technology's advancing. It's important. Still, soon we soon we can beat uh, down war devices. Civil war. Wow, there's a lot of civil wars going on. Countries are breaking down, and I'm the problem is I'm extremely vulnerable to a civil war right now, because everybody hates my ruler. Navant has lost a trade route. Okay. Seventy percent, sure. Seventy-one percent, even better. Um, when's all the boil do? <laughs> Shit, sure. Give me some of that, damn. Oh well, I guess some taxes. There you go. Lots for wood. That's fine. I don't think the Seleucids. Yeah, they they are not in any particular danger of having that blockaded. So. Like I said, we need to try and get the stuff flowing to the capital. Let the civilization flow. Ah, yes, it's time for another omen. Now that we actually have, um... You know, negative one stability, we can actually hopefully do this. Come on, come on, come on. Are oh, you fucking... Fuck. That's why I'm staying away from the military omens right now. Too risky. But come on, we could have actually gotten our ruler popularity out of zero. And with that, like, 0.15, that would actually be enough to overcome the 0.10 loss that we have. Ugh, come on, I don't want to shed three provinces here. Like I said, we have two cores, so we'll keep the core. Um, but these uncored ones will shatter on my ruler's death, probably. 
Um, not, uh, it's not 100%, but you know, kind of got to keep urgency going here. But for now, we're going to end this episode here. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. As always, this has been your host, Galvin, signing off.